you know, there's a lovely, there's a lovely blue there now that I've just managed to get in on the water. But that was just fleeting. It was kind of a, a cloud that threw a beautiful shadow across the river. So I've put it in. So there is also that sense of like somebody making a first-hand recording of life. In 1735, the city of Waterford commissioned a Dutch painter, Willem van der Hagen, to paint a view of Waterford City roughly from this spot. When I look at the painting, I think he took quite a few liberties. There's a lot of artistic license, like you can't see the hills that he painted in, in the background. I think he probably did it as a studio painting. He would have come up here onto this hillside, done some drawings, taken those drawings back to his studio, and then worked mostly from memory and kind of just assembled a painting which has a fairly accurate representation nonetheless of the buildings and shop fronts that were along the quayside in Waterford at the time. Uh, the, the Van der Hagen is eight feet across. It's very detailed, particularly on the shop fronts and so on. He has all these people on the quayside and now, of course, there's lots of cars, really, and not very many pedestrians around at all, you know? Well, I've been painting uh, on plein air, as it's called, or from life outdoors for 30 years now. I'm here now doing a study of the painting so that I'll bring this back to the studio and use it as kind of a notation for uh, the final painting. This particular commission is a percent for art commission. Uh, I've done a couple of them before. They're, uh, they're always great because really they're asking you to do a monumental piece of work or works. I've decided to do this painting on a series of separate panels, 52 individual panels, because really to tell you the truth, to make it easier on myself, because if I was looking at a five meter wide painting, which is what it's gonna end up as in my studio, that would be incredibly intimidating. I've done paintings that are about half that size before, and it's just, it's just intimidating. So while I was uh, working at the proposal, I hit on the idea of doing it on, a sm on small square panels. And of course I can do each panel, you know, it's a bite sized chunk. I can get really into the detail in it, which, which, you know, this painting requires because, you know, people after all want to be able to see individual shop fronts all along the quayside. And I can really concentrate it and I can do it in a sort of a fixed amount of time, a couple of days really per panel. And that allows me to, um, to really concentrate on the details and the way each one is painted. And then when they, when they get put together, you know, the whole thing sort of just clicks together like a big jigsaw. And I can see the kind of relentless detail of all these windows and yachts and boats and cars and the hillsides beyond kind of really being quite appealing to people, you know, and it will be a, a, an amazing record of the city as it is now, you know. So I'm just going to paint in uh, the hotel that's down there at the end of the quayside now. So it's very, very finicky at this scale. Tiny little windows. I, 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 like, I like a painting that leaves a bit to the imagination so that I like to put in what seems like a lot of detail but when you examine it closely it's actually just blobs of paint that give the viewer just enough information to, to think that that's whatever detail it is, whether it be a tree or a car, you know, because if you look at some of the cars I've painted in in this painting, they're just a few strokes, a few blobs, 
but it's their placement that gives you the impression that it's a car. So the painting, in a way, remains interactive forever because the viewer always has to be able to piece it together. I'm kind of really enjoying it because it's it's like model making. It's a bit like a train set. It's a, you know I'm, I get to basically build it, you know, in a virtual way, uh, step by step. So it's really quite, uh, it's really quite uh, satisfying each step of the way to see each little block come together, each little panel come together with a little block of um, houses on it. It's a huge honour to uh, record Waterford City in 2016 for future generations to see. It's, you know, it's an amazing thing to be able to do. But it's also an amazing responsibility, you know, and uh, I hope I get it right. <laughs>